So we're here at Xenon. So who are you? I'm Mike Nagy. I'm the Vice President of Global Sales for Xenon. And welcome to our booth today. So what are you showing here? What are, what are you doing? What, what, are you... I'm, what I'm doing is, uh, what I have here are some examples of products that can be uh, pulsed, uh, can be cured and or centered using pulsed ultraviolet light. One of the advantages of using, am I holding this correctly? Yeah. <laughs> One of the advantages of pulsed UV light is the ability to center and cure materials on a whole range of substrates. So you have these machines uh, yes. around the world already? Yes, we do. Uh, our systems uh, right now, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> our systems are in use for production around the world in about 4,000 different locations and applications. Uh, we uh, specialize in taking pulsed UV technology from uh, research and development kind of tools and then scaling it into production equipment. So what is this machine here? Okay, this machine right here is our latest introduction. This yeah. is called the S2200. This is an inductorless uh, system, so it delivers very high peak power uh, and, and frequency. It's all uh, user controlled through a GUI interface store recipes on it so it's people do their experimentation uh, and are developing their processes they store it all in here so that they okay. can always revisit it at any time uh, these systems can be used to drive any number of different types of lamps so you have your lamps here yes we make uh, 16 inch lamps u-shaped lamps 60 inch long lamps uh, spiral lamps, all of these were designed and built uh, by Xenon. All of our equipment and systems are designed and built at our plant in Boston. So what does it mean when you say OEM system starting at 20,000? Uh, what is that about? This, this here, this piece of equipment is a prototype bench top R&D system that we're just introducing at this show. It will be uh, available commercially uh, shortly after the first of the year. So what happens it's, with this? Where, what does it connect and where does the okay. stuff go? This connects specifically to any, any, well, could be to any number of these lamps. In this instance, we have it connected here to just a small test chamber. So you can cut small samples, put them in this test chamber, and pulse, pulse them using this unit. Um, what we've done on this unit is introduce all the same features that are on these larger production units. It's uh, got a graphic user interface. It's all programmable. Uh, and this system will end up, I think when we bring it to market, we'll probably be in the $25,000 to $20,000 range, depending on what lamps you put with it and what features. So do so, people uh, uh, use these uh, end pr products Oh, is it still in research? No. It, All this stuff is... This uh, particular system would be aimed at research. At uh, This is a benchtop system to help people develop and prove a process. In other words, if they had an ink, uh, they've got a certain print on a particular substrate, they can be testing on here to find the optimum uh, process parameters that they need. Then when they finish this, that's when we would then help them scale up into a larger production scale type of equipment uh, so that they could go to their production people or to their customers and say, we have a process, we have an ink, it, everything works, now we can also give you a solution uh, to actually translate that to production. So where does uh, Xenon, uh, where is Xenon uh, positioned in the printer electronics market? Are you uh, one of the leaders in supplying solutions? We certainly are in the uh, pulsed UV area. Uh, we've been around about 50 years. Uh, in addition to printed electronics, uh, we've been very active in uh, biohazard reduction using UV lamps to kill bugs, uh, using UV lamps in aseptic packaging, uh, the bonding. About 95% of the Blu-ray discs in the world were manufactured on equipment that utilizes uh, xenon systems 
uh, in the manufacture of them. So we have a long experience with uh, bringing value to the marketplace from these products. And They're the way people research. make uh, Blu-ray discs is also going to translate into the way people are going to make flexible electronics, right? Very similar, very similar kind of challenges. Uh, one of the uh, advantages or the advantage that Pulsite brought to the Blu-ray disc market is the ability to cure, to deep cure into the disc multiple layers because these discs are built up in layers and get a good cure down deep into that disc without burning off or overheating the top layers. And this, this same kind of knowledge. Uh, knowledge translates into printed electronics where people are saying, okay, I have something printed on TPU, you yeah. know, on a, on a thermoplastic or on yeah. a PET or on paper. And gee, I, I want to center this metal and I want to drive the resistivity of the product down. Yeah. But I don't want to burn the paper. I don't want to shrink up the TPU. I don't want to... Okay. Uh, this particular uh, example is uh, nanoparticle copper ink on PI. Uh, we've developed, we didn't develop the ink. Am I holding that at the right angle yeah. there? Uh, we didn't develop the ink, but what we did was work with the ink manufacturer to develop the exact process to center this copper ink it, roll to roll. So in other words, this goes right through in a roll. This isn't one sheet that's done. It's roll fed, comes right through, is centered and wound up on a take up roll. So you might also be in 95% of the printed electronics of the future? We hope so. All we right. definitely hope so. Working hard and, towards that and uh, yes. showing a bunch of stuff? Yes. And uh, it's been a, been a lot of good reception at the show so far. We've been very pleased with it. Uh, a lot of interaction on the part of uh, ink formulators. We view ink formulators as a key driver, some, uh, a place at which innovation will take place in this printed electronics business. So we, we work with a number of them around the globe to characterize their inks, to help them develop inks that can take advantage of uh, photonic curing. And that would be throughput and speed and relatively low temperature type of processing.